All right, today I'm going to show you how to make an all-purpose seasoning, an essential seasoning that you can put on anything, any kind of meat, fish, pork, chicken, beef, anything. You can put on sautéed vegetables. It's just really good. All right, it's really quick and really easy. You can pick up all these items from just like dollar, uh, dollar store or Walmart. I'm, today I'm using pink salt, and um, you can usually find this. If you can't, you can just use regular like coarse salt. This is a little bit finer than a coarse salt. And then, whoops, <laughs> half half a thing of black pepper. So half, all, most of these are two ounce things. So I'm going to use about half of that. You just eyeball it. There we go. And of course, you got to put garlic in there, right? Half of that. All right. And onion powder, half of that. A bit more. This one's getting a little congealed there. There we go. Um, and this this is a little bit bigger, but this is uh, ground paprika. This is a three ounce container, so I'm only going to use about a third of this. That's good. And because I like stuff a little spicy, I'm going to add some cayenne pepper in here. Not too much because this cayenne is pretty strong. Let's put about a teaspoon or two in there. And there you go, mix it up. This is great because you can control that salt. At first, when I was dumping that whole thing of salt in there, you thought, gosh, that's a lot of salt. But it's actually not once you get all these other ingredients in there. A lot of those over-the-counter things, you'll look at them and it'll have, salt will be the first ingredient. I'm going to sneeze with all these spices. <laughs> all right, so you might sneeze. So. <laughs> and there you go. And what you could do is actually use these containers back like the salt one that I emptied out, you could just uh, fill up your black pepper shaker and then just like take off the label and refill this. But look at that, that's nice. Look at all those spices. Really good. Like I said, you could use it on anything. And you can control the salt. Now if you like it, uh, you don't have to put the, the cayenne in there. If you like it a little sweet, some people like their all-purpose seasonings a little sweet. So you could add, you know, a couple uh, tablespoons of sugar in there just to make it a little sweet. Thanks for watching. I've got other food videos, so make sure to subscribe. Check back through my archive of all my other, there's a really good uh, tilapia fish recipe that you may like. Thanks for watching.